Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do some synthetic division to solve. I'm not feeling so hot, so I'll do the notes with you and then you guys can work on a little factoring quiz. So first thing it says, factor and solve. This is a quadratic. We're just going to split the middle. We're going to find numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to positive 3. So that's either 10, 1 and 10 or 2 and 5. I want something to be negative. How about that? x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 10. Split the middle. Factor by grouping, x minus 2 plus 5, x minus 2. And then I end up with x plus 5, x minus 2. That's factored. It does say solve. So if I want to solve, I'm going to set it equal to 0 and say x equals. This factor equals, uh, equals 0 at negative 5. And this factor equals 0 at 2. So the x-intercepts are at negative 5 and positive 2 when you solve by factoring. Now we're going to do this problem a little differently. I'm going to use synthetic division or synthetic substitution to plug in negative 5. And I should get 0, but watch what happens when I do this. So my polynomial was 1, 3, and negative 10. My coefficients, 1, 3, and negative 10. So I'm using synthetic, well, we've called it synthetic substitution, but I'm going to have a different approach here. And I'm going to plug in negative 5. So I'm going to drop down the 1, multiply, add, multiply, add, and I get 0. Cool. What we've been looking for is usually that. But these coefficients are actually important and useful. So we just divided by the 0, x minus 5. If x, or if negative 5, I'm sorry, if negative 5 is the 0. If negative 5 is a 0, that means that x plus 5 has to be a factor. And what we have here are the coefficients of the quotient. And the quotient has one less degree than what we started with. So if this was a quadratic, these are the coefficients to a linear term. One degree lower than two is one. So this is actually one x, one x minus two. That's another factor. And look, x plus five x minus two, we found the factors a slightly different way. So we use synthetic division to help us factor and then also ultimately solve the, qu the quadratic. Let's try and do it with a higher degree term. Well, first, we're just going to do uh, some synthetic division. We're not going to do long division right now. We might look at it later. So synthetic division, remember, this is degree 4, so we should have five terms. I only see four. That means I have a missing one. I have a missing x cubed, so I need a 0. 1, 0, negative 7, 9, negative 10. And we're testing for zeros, essentially. So if x minus 2 is a factor, the most important thing you realize is that you're testing positive 2 to see if positive 2 is a 0. So we're going to do synthetic division, and we're going to say 1 comes down, 2 times 1 is 2, add it up, 4, negative 3, negative 6, 3, 6, negative 4. So what we've got here is if you plug in uh, positive 2, you will get negative 4, and you can check that on your calculator with direct substitution. But what I'm more concerned about now are these coefficients. So our original uh, dividend was a quartic, degree 4. That means these are the coefficients of a cubic. So I'm going to write it as 1x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 3. These coefficients are the coefficients to the quotient. And I'm also going to say the quotient is right there. I'm going to multiply that by the divisor, x minus 2, and I'm going to put the remainder on the end, minus 4. That's how we're going to write our answers. Now, negative 4 is not really part of the... Um, what I'm concerned with right now, I'm mostly concerned with the quotient, but if you expand this out, you will actually end back up with a dividend. So you can check your answers that way. I'll leave that for you. Let's try a couple more of these where we don't get zero. <clears throat> so this is a quartic. Again, I'm missing a zero at x squared. I need a zero x squared. So one, negative six, zero, negative 40, 33, and I'm going to plug in seven. So when I do this, I drop down the 1, multiply, add, multiply, add, 49 minus 40 is 9, and 9 times 6 is 63, so this is 96. The way we write our answer is since this was degree 4, these are the coefficients of a degree 3 polynomial, 1x cubed plus 1x squared plus 7x plus 9, that's your quotient. Our divisor was x minus 7, and I'm going to put the remainder, 96, on the end, plus 96. That's how we're going to write our answer, and that's it. Let's do another one. 
This is degree four, there are already five terms, so that's nice. Put your coefficients in, two, negative 11, 15, six, negative 18. If x minus three is a factor, I'm testing to see if three is a zero. Bring that two down, six, negative five, negative 15, zero, zero, six, 18, zero. Oh, cool, so this one actually is a zero. This was degree four, now we're using degree three, minus five x squared plus zero x, I'm not gonna write that, plus six, that's my quotient, my divisor is x minus three, and there is no remainder. So you might see how we're actually starting to factor now. I just factored this polynomial that I've never been able to factor before using synthetic division. I still have to deal with the cubic, but I've knocked it down a degree and made it a little bit more manageable. So let's try now and go one step further on these problems, and we're going to take this and we're going to knock it down to a quadratic. So 1, 11, negative 150, negative 1, 5, 112. Yikes. And they tell me that x minus, or at negative 14, x equals negative 14 is a 0, so I'm going to plug in negative 14, and since it's a 0, I better get 0 at the end. So let's try it. Bring the 1 down, multiply, add, multiply, 150 and 42 is negative 108. Multiply now, I don't have my calculator right now, but let me just type, okay, I got one right here. 15, 12, 15, 12, good. That is zero, good. When you multiply 14 times 108, you get 15, 12. So now what we've got is a quadratic, x squared minus 3x minus 108, and I'm gonna write that I just factored out if negative 14 is a zero, x plus 14 is a factor. So I'm starting to factor. But what I've got here is a quadratic that I need to split the middle for. So we have to find two numbers that multiply to 108 and add to negative 3. So let's see. Um, 9 and 12, that'll do it. So it's going to be x squared minus 12x plus 9x minus 108. x x minus 12 plus 9, x minus 12, and now I have factors of x plus 9, x minus 12, and my third factor, since negative 14 was 0, I also know x plus 14 is a factor. Now I'm going to plug those in, or figure out when they equal 0. This equals 0 at negative 9, this equals 0 at positive 12, and this equals 0 at negative 14. So you're going to use synthetic division to knock the polynomial down a degree, by dividing out one of the factors. Then when you have a quadratic, you're gonna be able to solve it. And it's usually gonna be factorable, but even if it's not, we can do quadratic formula. I'll do a couple more with you and then you guys can do the last two. So the first one here, it tells me slightly different notation, but if you plug in four, you're gonna get zero. So I'm gonna do synthetic division and I'm gonna plug in four, two, three, negative 39, negative 20, and I should get zero because it says it's zero. So let's just make sure it comes out to zero. Bring down the two, eight, 11 times four is 44. 44 minus 39 is five, five times four is 20. Hey, those cancel out, good. Now I have a quadratic, two x squared, since this was degree three, this is degree two, plus 11 x plus five. See these coefficients, two, 11, five, two, 11, five. That's my quadratic, but I still have to write my other factor. If four is a zero, x minus four is a factor. But now I'm gonna focus my efforts on this quadratic. I'm gonna split the middle. I'm gonna find numbers that multiply to 10 and add to 11. That's 10 and one. Two x squared plus 10 x plus one x plus five. Two x, x plus five plus one, x plus five. And now my factors are two x plus one, x plus 5, and then this other one that I already had, x minus 4. So if I want to use that to find zeros, I say when do these equal 0? This guy equals 0 at negative 1 half, this guy equals 0 at negative 5, and this guy equals 0 at positive 4. You can graph it to check it. If you graph this original polynomial on Desmos, you will see its x-intercepts are at negative 1 half, negative 5, and positive 4. One more, and then I'll let you guys do the last couple. We're going to plug in 9, and we're going to get 0. That's what f of 9 equals 0 means. So I'm going to plug in 9, I better get 0. 1, negative 9, negative 5, 45, and I better get 0. 1, 9, 0, 0, 
negative 5, 9 times negative 5 is negative 45, good, we get 0. So now I have x squared minus 5, because there's 0x, and then the other one would be x minus 9. Now, this isn't factorable, but I can still solve this. I still can figure out when x squared minus 5 equals 0 by solving using square roots. I don't have to do the quadratic formula. Square root both sides, and you get x equals plus or minus radical 5, plus we already knew that x equals 9. So we're factoring, and we're solving, and we're combining a lot of different ideas. Go ahead and try the bottom two, and then you have a factoring quiz you need to complete on Schoology. So good luck. Have a good day.